Uh, I really bet that you have seen something really cool in the Wealth Welcome site. The beautiful site and also the beautiful background animation that is playing. When I first saw this, I thought it was something like really, really advanced, like, well, it's actually advanced. But I mean with that is that I thought it was like a 3GS or something like that around that or a lot of animation. But it happens that you can just create this completely with the Webflow interactions. Let me show you. So let's start with some foundations. Let's create something that I'm going to call a track. So this is the track and this track is going to be around a thousand BH. So inside of that, we are going to need something which is called a handle. And inside of the handle, we can put something like um, a ring wrapper. Now let's add 100 BH for the handle. And this one is going to be sticky. All right. So in the ring wrapper, we are going to make this as well, 100 pH. We are going to put this center position. And here in the ring wrapper, we are going to create the rings. So ring and this ring, we are going to try to mimic what we have in Webflow. So this is what we have, these vibrant blue rings. And this looks like a radial gradient. So let's do that. Let's make this um, a circle. And with this gradial gradient, we need a vibrant blue. So let's try to eyeball that. Let's add something like that. And uh, let's make the black transparent. Okay, let's put that around 50%. And remember to put these rings in absolute position. So this is going to be ring number one, but the ring number two is going to be smaller. So let's put this number one. Let's duplicate this a couple of times. I think we need around one, two, three, four rings. So ring number one, ring number two, ring number three, and ring number four. With these combo classes, what we are going to do is adjust the sizing of this. So it's going to be 80. Um, actually, I forgot to, some, to do something which is going to add a nice touch, which is like a border to the rings. It looks something like that. And actually, you can see that there's some kind of cyan color as well. So let's add the sign color too. Um, gradient, gradient. Now let's add some kind of a sign, vibrant sign, but let's make the center. Um, hmm. Let's make the center again transparent. So one of the tricks is that I like to use the same color. Um, like that when I'm using transparency because that's going to match very well um, the, the gradient that we have with the shapes. Let's reduce a little bit the, the color of this, the transparency of this. Let's desaturate it a little bit like that. And now that we have the setup for the ring, Let's keep going with the rest of the rings. So this is that size. One thing is that uh, 
These probably are not exact measurements for the rings, but I think they are pretty close. So the idea with the video is that you can get something really close up to what we have here in the waffle side. So here's where the magic happens. We need to apply perspective to the children of the rubber. So we can have this kind of, you know, moving thing that you can see that it goes to your face and goes out. But in order to do that, we need to alter or manipulate the perspective with a variable. So let me show you how it's made. Okay, let's create a new variable. And in this variable, we are going to create a size. Let's call this perspective. Perspective. And Based on what I saw in the CSS of the Wealthflow.conf website, it starts at 150 pixels. Now, let's add some CSS, custom CSS to the page. So in this case, what we are going to target is the handle. Um, let me copy the variable. One thing that I noticed is please make sure you are closing your custom code. All right, so now let's go to the fun part. Let's target the track and we're going to create something that is called while scrolling view, targeting the track. And we are going to create a very smooth animation, like a jelly animation, because in the website, if you see, this moves really slow like that. Okay. So here we are going to create an animation called rings, and we are going to target the ring wrapper, but first we are going to select the variable and we are going to target the perspective. So the initial value for the perspective is going to be 150 pixels, but around 50% of the scrolling position, we are going to set the perspective to be a 5,000. So right now we are going to dynamically um, change the range of our children uh, the perspective of all children with, with the scrolling um, trigger. Okay, so we are going to also rotate the ring wrapper. This is going to be 80, like that. And let's also duplicate this and let's put this to be 20%. More or less there. And just to make sure we are doing things right, we are going to put the First, uh, animation starts when it's fully visible. So it looks something like that. Okay, it's not fully what we have in the website, but we are getting close. Okay, so right now we are going to add some adjustments here. We are going to try to all eyeball what we have. So I'm going to put the position like this to move it and then we are going to move it to the other probably I don't know somewhere here <laughs> um, okay now let's just the rotation yeah something like that okay it's not going to the top so let's make sure. Okay, we are having some scroll, horizontal scrolling, so let's adjust this too. Let's use the track, let's put it on clip. Let's go back to interactions. Let's keep trying to adjust this. So let's play that. Okay, it seems that the move, um, the rotation, is not very well, it's probably around there, but the move, let's move it like that. Probably zero is okay. Let's see how it looks. All right, it's looking good. 
So if we compare that to what we have here, it's getting close. But now we need to make it so it pass through the animation like that. Okay. So the rotation um, around there. Play that. Probably it mostly is about the rotation. Okay, let's add a negative rotation. Uh, it seems a perspective. Um, let's use a thousand for now, and let's put the perspective. At 70% to 5,000. Let's see how, how that goes. Okay, we can just keep playing with it until it fully matches what we have in the Wallflow Com website, but I feel that we, right now is really close. So let's make the comparison. Yeah, okay. This looks amazing. I'm going to leave the link in the description of the video so you can just, you know, scroll on this because it's, it's really lovely and it's, it's really fascinating how it behaves. Consider subscribing to the channel if you like these kind of videos and I see you in the next one. Peace.